Hi everybody, this is the second Breakfast Club coming to you from the BTS Academic Conference again. And right now I'm with... Chelsea Murdoch. Nice, and Chelsea, tell us a little bit about your research or why you're here, like what brought you to the BTS Conference? Well, I actually teach using BTS in my composition classrooms. Um, so composition classrooms are usually first and second year um, writing emphasis classes. And so I've used BTS a couple times to teach transmedia um, and to teach about additive comprehension and participatory cultures. Excellent. Um, how has that kind of worked in? I know because I went to a workshop with you yesterday where you made a BTS escape room. Yes. <laughs> which I think is much more creative than you sell yourself sometimes. <laughs> um, so like, what made you come up with, I know you study the BU in your classes, mm -hmm. you have escape rooms, like this creativity that you're doing, like where did that come from? Or Honestly, the first iteration of the escape room was I, I didn't have any lesson plans for that day. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the greatest um, inspiration is always, it has to happen mm -hmm. um, and something has to come together. And so I was sitting in my office and trying to think of, well, how do I get my students actively interested in these connective elements between elements of the, the BU, the Bank 10 universe? And I had just gone to an escape room about a month before and I thought, what if, what if I can pull this together yeah. in about an hour and a half? Excellent. And so the first iteration was, was very much like QR code based. Mm -hmm. um, they only had a couple stops to make in the classroom space, but then um, the future iteration was a lot more uh, material. They'd have to go and find an element of lyrics or something like that, and that would inform the next step of the escape room. Excellent. What a great way to like combine everything they're learning and make them actually think. Like, <laughs> I feel like you couldn't slide by in that class because Probably you have not. to be able to know what you're talking about. Um, so you're doing all this work. Are you planning to use this for future work or future research? Where is this heading? I'm hoping to. Um, I just entered into a new institution mm -hmm. um, at Clemson University, and so I'm hoping that I'm able to take these experiences that I've had with the escape room with using BTS and implement that more into my future courses. Okay. Uh, we used it this year um, because I can't not. Right. <laughs> I can't not, and Persona um, was was something that I was having them explore as a quality in their writing mm. um, and how they're articulating their persona. What a so we idea. Actually, right. So we, we listened to um, persona as sort of the kickoff element of discussing, well, how do you present yourself? Um, and what's the different element? So I'm hoping that I'll be able to incorporate the escape room and yeah. all the other different elements. And what's nice there is at least is if we're right, as they keep adding albums, you can just use it. For right. writing. You know, <laughs> how is your shadow influencing you? How is right, your ego right. influencing your writing? That's the fun thing too about teaching it is that it is always different. Mm -hmm. um, and that, that was an element of the first two iterations, fall 2017, 2018, is they were actively releasing things. Right. And so my lesson plans kept changing because Big Hit kept putting stuff out. <laughs> Curse you, Big Hit! <laughs> There's so much content, what am I supposed to do? I feel uh, like reactors think of that too. Oh, <laughs> so much contact. Definitely. So when you put in like fan, uh, fan creations oh, along yeah. with big hit creations. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so anything else that you want to talk about there? Anything you want to plug? I know that you were, you had cards you were handing out. Yes. Today. Um, so I am on the editorial board for the, um, the Rhizomatic Revolution Review, okay, which is, we call it R3, it's, it's cute like that, but um, we are a multidisciplinary academic journal, well, not necessarily academic, Yeah. You know, rephrase that. A thinky journal. A thinky journal, um, for all the nerds. Mm -hmm. So we have three different elements within the journal, and we're trying to come at knowledge making and knowledge creation and knowledge communication in various different ways. Very cool. So we have academic journals, which are very sort of traditionally based, quantitative, qualitative, um, theoretical explanations, those sort of things. Yeah. Um, we have the creative collection, which is really trying to engage visual material, any sort of creative approach to uh, BTS or ARMY. Okay. And then we have supplemental stories, which are which is really more of an oral history archive 
where we're trying to get together the stories of ARMY and what their experience is. So this is. journal is all BTS? Yes, it is all BTS. Oh, excellent. So um, I'll put that down in the description so you guys can find it. Yes, please. Um, I really like that. I know academia can be kind of exclusive or can be really daunting for people who aren't in those circles. Mm -hmm. So it's really cool to break it down so that everybody can understand in some way. That's and it can still be thought-provoking. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We are wanting voices that are not um, strictly academic. Anybody can participate. Got you. So you're, you have open calls for submission? We do. It's currently ongoing. Okay. Um, and you can find our timeline on our Twitter page uh, as well as on our website, which is thr3journal.com. Okay. And uh, we really hope to see everybody submit something. And it is a peer review process, so of it course. will be going through iterations of getting feedback. And that's our, that's our hope. Excellent. Well, hopefully some of the people who maybe see this will have an interest in uh, submitting something. Hope so. Yeah, that would be wonderful. Um, so I like to end all these interviews with, you kind of already answered it in a way, but how can people either get a hold of you or follow your work? Like, what's your... Twitter, Instagram, website, let's reiterate everything you'd like. <laughs> so my Twitter page is Chelsea J. Murdoch, uh, at Chelsea J. Murdoch, and my website is ChelseaJMurdoch.com. Okay, and that's open for people to come, like that's absolutely that's yeah. also a fan account, you know? <laughs> sort of, sort of. I have a, a, another account that's more of my fan. I've been finding persona. a lot of secret fan accounts. Huh? Everybody's got one. <laughs> Um, but that's my professional account, and it does tend to swing fan as well. Okay, so people are welcome to follow you there. Yes, absolutely. Okay. Abs great. So I'm going to put all of those again in the description. But I hope that you guys uh, submit to the paper yes. or, uh, or the journal, or at least read it. There's going to be a lot of interesting things there. Mm -hmm. And for any of you teachers out there, she might have some really cool ideas. I'm hoping transmedia <laughs> becomes more of a thing in colleges, to be honest. Oh, I hope so too. It's so interesting. It is. And I think it's up and coming. Like, I think so. It's going to get bigger. Definitely. So. Definitely. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thank you. Of course. And bye to you guys. Bye.